want to briefly touch on repositioning to Rehoboth. Repositioning to Rehoboth. Repositioning to Rehoboth. Genesis chapter 26 and verse 22. Genesis chapter 26 verse 22. Repositioning to Rehoboth. The Bible says, he moved on from there and dug another well. And no one, no one, no one quarreled over it. He named it Rehoboth, saying, Now, the Lord has given us room and we will flourish in the land. All my words today are prophetic. That the church of Pentecost, the Lord is taking us to Rehoboth. And as the church become, you shall become. Find time to go through the chapter 26 of Genesis. There was farming. Farming means inadequacy of food. As there is farming in the world, inadequacy of ideas, inadequacy of vision, inadequacy of funds, farming. But there was a direct instruction from God to Isaac. Don't go down to Egypt. Don't go down to Egypt. There is farming. But don't go down to Egypt. Egypt symbolizes slavery. All the best bad practices you can think of. Egypt. All the evil practices you can think of. Egypt. Don't go down. Tell the one sitting by you. Don't go down to Egypt. Although there is famine. So. Isaac repositioned himself to the land of the Philistines. You see, when God is taking you to Rehoboth, the land of your enemies becomes your land. So, he finds himself in, in the land of the Philistines. The Bible says that he planted crops. That same year, he reaped a hundredfold. So in the year of famine, because there is no economic recession in the kingdom of God, may you plant this year and may you reap a hundredfold. It got to a time the Philistines said, move away from us. You have become too powerful for us. When they ask you to move away, move away. For where you are cannot contain you. He will enlarge your territory. He will expand the frontiers of your coast. When they say move away, move away. For where you are cannot contain you. But there were wells. There were wells. Wells that Abraham had dug. And the Philistines had stopped those wells with stones and mud. And what Isaac did was to reopen the wells. So, this year, repositioning means moving on. For he moved on. One definition of repositioning is what? Moving on. Secondly, repositioning means reopening. Thirdly, repositioning means redigging. He reopened. He redug. Now, the first time he did it, the Philistines came to him. They said, this water belongs to us. So, there was a quarrel. But he moved on when there was a quarrel. So, there was opposition. So, he moved on. You see, before you get to Rehoboth, you must move on from quarrels. You must move on from disputes. 
You must move on from opposition before you get to your Rehoboth. And God is taking this church to its Rehoboth. The third time they found a well, they read that. They found water. No one came to them to fight with them. So they said, no, then this place, God has given us enough space, enough room. Rehoboth means enough space, enough room. The missions enterprise of the Church of Pentecost, God is taking us to a place where there will be no restrictions, no barrier, no impediment. I prophesy over your life that you live here with Rehoboth. Enough room, enough space. There will be no restriction for you. As the church has become, and as the church is becoming, so should you become. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord take you to Rehoboth as he's taking the whole church of Pentecost to Rehoboth. Where there is enough space, enough room. Don't be left out. God bless you. You can take yourself.